My name is Katherine Wilson, and I came back to the U of O to finish my degree after taking a decades-long hiatus to become a filmmaker. I hope to mentor young filmmakers next year. My project is called Cinema 7 and the 70 Cinema. A research project began as a simple diorama for Professor Alalunas, who had a whole binder of research on the venue but could not find any images, but one, from an old newspaper article. As I was taking his class in history of film and saw firsthand many of Eugene's other long gone exhibition venues in his presentations for class, I was inspired to contact my friends and ask if anyone had any photos of it. The cinema started in 1974 with a small group of us who had enjoyed Professor Bill Cadbury's screenings at 150 PLC for his film as literature class back in the early 70s. And so we devoted ourselves to creating an art house for exhibition of what we considered art and alternative films. Cinema 7 closed in 1987. To make a long story short, we were unable to find any photos for Professor Alalunas, but because he had blueprints of the floor plan from the City of Eugene's planning department, the cinema's art director, Lynn Peterson, and also the cinema's poster maker, I might add, and I endeavored to make a diorama. That diorama led to desire to make others, but COVID-19 precipitated that plan and instead, Cure encouraged us to make small videos about Cinema 7 and some films shot in the 70s at the U of O. These videos are from photographs taken by Lynn's ex-husband, Greg Thurlow Weed, and they are of the notorious film Animal House, which was not only filmed in the EMU fishbowl, but we held a casting call in the ballroom. I was a location scout and location casting director on the film. There is a short video from my award-winning documentary that was shown on OPB in 2018 as well. These artifacts, including the photos, are a part of my special collection at the Knight Library. This research project is just a small part of an even larger one and will be written with the help of Dr. Stephen Russ this summer about the incredible impact Ken Kesey and the U of O had on Cinema 7 and the larger realm of world cinema today. It is called Echoes from the Set, Volume 2, 1967 to 1977, Shadows from the Underground, Cinema Under the Influence. It is the sequel to my last book, published a year ago, one I wrote for all of the young filmmakers I mentor. Echoes from the Set, 1967 to 2017, 50 years of filming on location, Hollywood and Oregon Cinematic Literary Voices. These are the untold stories about how the U of O was an incubator for not only local poetic cinema filmmakers, but how their combined influences changed the world of cinema. I am grateful to Dr. Zala Lunas, Rust in Hatfield, everyone at CURE, and especially the Knight Library for all of their support. 